Hello everybody, my name is Blue Beauty calling for short and welcome back to another video. Oh wait a second, that's not the right that's not the right voice. Hold on. A little detour. Hello everybody, my name is Zeki Pluto, be if you want to for short. Nah, seriously though, I love Stampy. That guy that guy is like my childhood. Chronarch is not responding. Whatever, it's an early axis. Makes sense. Alright, we'll reopen it. Hello everybody, my name is Ikim Pluto, going to for short, and welcome back to our video! So, today we are going to be playing Chrono Arc yet again! I said I'd do that as like a joke, like I'd make like a Minecraft video. It'll, don't worry, the video will still come, you know, I just gotta practice. Anyway, we're playing more Chrono Arc, you know, I've been, I've been playing this game for like, the past, like, ever. On the channel it'd be for like two months now or something like that. I just have, I have like such a massive backlog, this is like my third or fourth day just owning the game and I already have like a month's worth of content because I just keep on playing it it's, I mean like I am doing it weekly but it's like who's gonna it, I think it takes a week to finish an episode honestly or like a video because they're all like mad long I tried to speed run the last one and that ended up being like 27 minutes and that was that was like I didn't even get that far into the game like I got like decently far but not I didn't make it to like the white grave or anything. Anyway, <clears throat> back with another run. Should I do some lore? I don't know. I kind I kind of don't like these. These don't um don't have pictures. They normally don't have pictures. Klein, hello Klein. It's now nine o'clock. Looks like they're busy preparing breakfast. Outside is getting worse. It's currently getting increasingly difficult to. Yo, is he the forgotten king? Care in progress of the project. It's a little behind schedule, but it's running smoothly without any major issues. We might be able to operate the arc soon. I'm hopeful the arc project proceeds without problem. Even those who couldn't board the arc may also be saved. There are various survival projects underway around the world, but seem to have made little progress. Uh, even if some are successful, same countless people from Cryonics seems unlikely. The other projects do not care for the frozen ones. Those projects are for the ones who are still alive. There seems to be little chance of surviving the grand catastrophe is over. Until the grand catastrophe is over. My project is different. We can save everyone. That's why our team feels more responsibility. We're always working to ensure the project is successful. I like this music, bro. The Lord tape just has a different soundtrack for some reason. However, there is a person who asked me for a consultation regarding an interesting topic. His name was... I discussed a critical failure within the ARC project. This is uh, a czar, isn't it? I think that's him. That's his body type, right? I thought it was a mat. I thought it was a matter, so a matter we could think about after the arc was put into operation. So we decided to put all of our energy in completing it first. To some extent, I already knew the truth. That's why we prepared a solution in advance. That solution is for the worst case scenario. The solution for before the end. Anyways, the point is, he made he made a time machine. He made a time machine. And that's it. That was a cool lore one. What was that one named actually? Because these have names. Project progress, project introduction, our last day, and picture with 66AS7JWI. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some digging. 66 AS. Well, that's not. That doesn't make sense. <clears throat> I'm assuming it's just simple translation, but. Uh, welcome back to Chronic. I don't know. It just it doesn't feel right saying welcome back to Chronic before I get to like that music. That music is just so good for just starting off stuff. Anyway. Hold on. Going through stuff? I just wanted to see the names. None of them have two of the same letter in their name. So the 6-6 six, six, I'm not really sure about. But Miss Chain is definitely present there in that picture. And I'm pretty sure. No, the person with pink eyes. Huz, maybe? Huz and Miss Chain. Anyway, I kinda lost track. 
how does your passive work consume one mana to delay an enemy's action count? How do you even activate that? Oh wait, Huz is the um. I don't like her character. <laughs> she's like she she like heals people, but she has to hurt them first. It's just like so unnecessarily risky. We don't do risk. You don't win off of risk. Also, I would love to run this chain again, but I kind of already did her. Why, why, why don't I try like two healers? I don't think that works, two healers. Because there's just no damage. But, yeah. I'm going to do something. I haven't won with these guys. I haven't won with most of the cast yet. I also need to unlock these. Unlock Curse of the Sun and Moon Stars. Sun and Moon Stars. And this one, hold on. Unlocked my character stays alive at death door for three turns. Hold on, I think I can just pull that off right now. I'll put Trisha. Trisha and him. That is a weird combo. I'll put Azar in because I, I never use Azar as much as I should. Azar is really good and he's easy to understand. I don't understand what this monk is. Anyway, yeah. I'm gonna try and get the thing. Should go something like this. Fixability on you. <laughs> the one character run. Thought that came to mind. What is the scroll? Identification. Pretty standard. It feels like ages since I played this game, but like I really only haven't played it for a day. Alright, so we want to kill one of them. Probably this guy. Does it not attack? I don't think it attacks. It's fine. Actually, I'll attack it with you. Just because it's an efficient heal. Alright. Now we get this. How do I go about a. I guess dual and like. Not shockwave. Weapon breaker? Uh, sure. Uh, nice ring. What is this? Attack healing power crit chance. I'm putting this all on Ironheart because Azar is the one who's going to go on death's door for like three turns. This should be possible. Uh, protect yourself, Ironheart. I don't know. It's just like it's kind of hard to like achieve this. Nice dodge. He's almost at death's door. Heal him more. Get that barrier. <laughs> really just stacking the ever living god out of this character. 66 at 29. Death's door. So that's one turn. I'm not sure if he's going to die from this. And he died. He took eight from that? Okay. I can just try again next time. Instant Armor Shield Retribution, Shockwave. All allies must remain one extra turn, you must remain one turn less. Sure. This is kind of card that I thought it would be. I guess because it has to be off of attacks and the fog was happening there. I would level up Azar if I wasn't planning on having him die in the next fight. I 
I'll stop doing that. Why do I do that so weird? I take the thing out, and then I exit the screen, and then I close it afterwards. Just not optimal. Not the worst thing. I'll heal Ironheart, because Ironheart actually has to win a boss fight. And Azar is going to be back on Death's Door. I want to make sure you just go like too far into Death's Door. Oh, you're hitting me. Okay. Oh, I don't want you to hit Ironheart. Okay. I guess Ironheart's the one who's going on Death's Door then. Got the taunt and everything. Yep. All according to plan. <laughs> this isn't gonna work. The fog comes too quickly. I have to have, have my character already be dead by the time he enters the fight. Oh, quick from Chess or Curse. This is a throwaway run anyway. I kind of just want to get the, the unlock. I already played it because it has illusions when I ran out of me. Sure. That's a good one. What's Light's Judgment? Single target, healing 13, deal 13. Deal damage equal to 130% of the healing amount of cast on enemy. That just should be on you, I guess. It's really just because of the gear. I'll also put on the curse thing. I'm kind of interested. <laughs> and maybe you get the the curse from the whatever to unlock the characters from that. Can you make illusion shield instead? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've actually already read that one before. All right, I got barracks, so now it's this. I kind of wish I got Trisha. Trisha might make this easier. <laughs> Trisha Ironheart. <clears throat> I didn't use the. Uh, yeah, I did not. Now the game's getting on my nerves because not getting on my nerves, it's getting on me for not using uh not upgrading anything. It's fine game, I have this under control. Come on. Kinda wish you could turn that off. The game shouldn't tell me how to play. Like I understand tutorials, but not this. Cause this sucks. They're here. All right, just cast illusions, whatever. How long does this last? Three turns? It's pretty nice. Hitting Joey? That's no go. Well, that's it. Healing Vapor is always good. Healing Array. Chain Heal Swiftness. Target Pain and Weakening. Debuff success rate increased. So he can heal himself with this. Essentially. I didn't really understand what that meant before. But now I do, because I'm good at the game. Should be a shop somewhere. It's where you put stuff. It's the altar of food. I only have one bread. I'll give it my one bread, though. That's for sure. Respect the altar, even if the altar doesn't respect you. 
This is what I mean. This is why you respect the altar. The altar... It's worth it. It's worth it to put stuff into the altar, even if you don't have much. I'm rich. I mean, I did use the scroll Midas on an equipment I had, but still. Got this, right? Never thought it'd be so hard to play wrong. Stack another destroy weapon debuff. Okay, so it stacks. I I don't know why, it just like it, it came into my head like, oh, that means it hits twice. Okay, who am I hitting on? You. A lot of heals. I can kill. I can kill. Alright. Uh, okay. Good Joey's again. I don't know why I'm not doing Azar. Azar's good. It's just, I also... <laughs> this is not epic. This is not cash money. Has to be some type of way to, like, lose without losing so horribly. What does increased morale do? Once a turn, swiftness, gain two mana this turn. That's really good. Is there no sh there's a shop? Yeah. There's always a shop on the second floor. Sixteen, thirteen, one thirty. How simple. I don't know why they target the tank. Like, he literally has the most health out of everyone here. Why do you hit him first? Horrible prioritizing. Fine, I'll love you up once. Sword of Infinity's good. Oh, I can't, I cannot, I cannot ignore Sword of Infinity. If this goes in illusion mode, it will crit. That's strong. You can literally just keep it in the hand until you get crit with it. Seal? Meh. Bandage. Meh. Identification scroll, unknown scroll. Cannot be used in hope mode. What's my shot? Is this a challenge for you? Will you succeed? Oh, yeah! Okay! A challenge, you say? Opening this immediately. Hey, this is Curse of the Son of Moon. Shopkeeper edition. This item is cursed, but can be unequipped. This item is cursed, cannot be removed or changed. Jam is you do if you do draws with yeah, transfer into a unique item. Confusion has a chance to switch target when skills cast. Non resistant, cannot resist debuffs. Passive skills are disabled. Ooh, wait a second. That's really good on Joey. That's not good on Joey, but it just has no effect on Joey. So I can go on you. Switch target my skills cast. Can't resist debuffs. And this is just a buff kind of thing. Because, like, if I cast. He doesn't have any AoEs now I think about it. 
He's also buff stats like ridiculously. All right, yo, <laughs> this is the unlockables run. Even though there's not that much, I just have to get Phoenix and something else. Skill book, please. There we go. All I wanted from you. Protective party, but uh, protective party barrier and like the. Uh... Wow. Protective party barrier and uh, frontline defense or whatever. Copy and equip. Has a chance to switch. Whatever, man. Whatever. All right. I have no idea what a purification scroll is. Why do? Okay. Understood. Oh, you're right. Everything's cursed. How did I literally just looked at the Pharaoh's mask and I was like. Why is everything cursed? <laughs> What's wrong with me? Drink from the f auto focus. It's not bad. I think I actually might do that. Especially because I have like the the thing that just gives me two mana. You could probably pull off some crazy stuff with that. Attack round grease potion. What's going on here? Is a potion of good effect? Of course it's a potion of good effect. I literally went through the uh the pain and suffering of identifying it. Oh, this might be good for no. Would not be good for Death Story. Encourage. What? Since when did I have in oh vitality? That's that makes more sense. Mm. All right. You innocent? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just cycle the innocent armor a bunch. Hope for the best. Chem substance. Oh, it's an attack. Still use it. I thought that was the uh, the one that just buffs it. Autofocus sadly only uh, sadly has once. Yeah, I don't have the damage to like actually win this. At least not efficiently. Is everybody still using Joey's basic attack? Also, this is going on again. It was a dodge, but it still took the stuff off the barrier. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Why is it going the corner? Why did you not hit? <laughs> what? Do you have to do it first and then it's like a precursor to everything? Joey's on death's door. Wow, that was a lot of healing. Who falls to my curse next? Nobody's gonna fall to the curse. Uh, 
Fury. Remaining attack skills will be used by consuming mana at the start of the turn. Interesting. Who can tank this? He's taking 10 damage next turn, which is like lethal. Oh wow, this is really not, not epic for him. It's fine. Let's protect. A Joey taking ten? Yeah, it's acceptable. I am. I am not playing this well. This is the unlockables run. <laughs> the unlockables run is just. It's just throwing the game, and then you can't stop throwing. Confused, but he had taunt. Genius. Alright, I have that. Stop, I've had enough. Yeah, it's not up to you, bud. Hey, we know our healing potions. Nice dodge. Oh, you're negative to oh you endured? Nice. Just one more turn and we get <laughs> one more turn and we get Phoenix. <laughs> Ten. Just attack her now. That's how I should have been doing it. It's just like I didn't feel like it for some reason. He's only negative three now. Oh, it extended it more. I was kind of hoping Joey would uh tank that. I kind of really wanted Phoenix. I'm not gonna lie. Why don't you put a curse on someone else this time? I'm good. Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, this will not kill you. Oh, it's gonna kill you. Oh, nice endurance, guys. It's a 50-50 I roll basically every time. Oh wait, you can use a purification scroll. That's that's really that's really you know this is a roll the fifty fifty. Alright, I is it really a fifty fifty? That was a weird run. I don't want to talk about that run. I'm gonna go in for another. Weird. Uh, what are we kind of guys? I'm guessing this is one. Oh, oh, it's like just scaling. That's nice. Now I don't think I unlocked them because I actually have to like have the the curse awaken or something, right? Yeah, unlock the curse. Well then, uh. Pfft. Should we actually try to win this run? Yeah. Crazy thought. This is a, a fierce starting team. Narharn and Hein. And uh, you know, I never never use Hein enough. I never use like any like the basic attackers really. I kinda just avoid them because they're just they seem basic. Yeah, you know, I didn't want to do them because like it just felt like you know, they're more unique things to use. But they are good, they are good. 
Nice feeling spell. Cast it on me next time. Hind Mist. I forgot Hind has like l like Loki like really bad uh bad accuracy. He does damage though, which is undeniable. Shall I go identified first or I'll go you? Mutilate definitely gets it. End of the line, assault slash, blood reflux. I honestly don't understand blood reflux. Attack power and incurring healing increases by 33% based on the SL. Healing gauge protection. Restore target's healing gauge but receive pain damage equal to half the amount. Okay, so it's like you heal yourself. So this is like if you want him to like tank for you. It's very interesting. It's kind of like a revenge, but for Hein. Also worth two. <laughs> Was revenge? No, revenge is worth zero on this chain. Why am I just getting things like this? I'm. This is. These are not the runs I should be getting this on. The game's like, oh yeah, he won the game. There you go. You're just spoiling me. You know, just gotta complete the circle. I know there's nothing at the end of it. It just, it, it feels right. All right, <laughs> go ahead, you stripling punks. Stripling. All right, guys, good fight. Give me a soul, thank you. Cause I don't like it when the game yells at me. Can I turn that off? <laughs> I want the game to turn off, it's like, it's weird, like... Suggest command... Remove basic skills... No place for nerds, remove all glasses and characters. <sighs> what does this do? Display scat increase. Oh my god. Okay. I think I was happier without that. I mean, that's what Darkest Dungeon does, but like, I don't know, it just doesn't, it doesn't look right to me anymore. Let's quick for accelerate game speed. I could probably turn this on, right? Yeah, I mean, I have beaten the game once, and that's my excuse for everything here on out. I already beat the game. It's for two turns. Bleeding? Not good. They do not resist bleeding at all. Get the reroll? They're both worth two anyway. I think I had four mana. Alright, our first boss doesn't really need to be optimized that well anyway. Strike. It's like it's like a normal attack, but just stronger. I'll take it. I mean, it's better than a basic. Uh, Phantom Pain. Whatever enemy takes, how long does this last? Four turns. Rage. Next you play. Has a once on it too. This is just, this does not have one's basic. If this type of skill says a fixed ability could be used regardless of another character's cast, casting bears, use cooldown turn. Use the cooldown turn by one though. 
Oh wow, that's pretty pretty nice. Continuous draw and level them up. Paranoia is just good. Nightmare Syndrome is good, but it's expensive. Not necessary. I kind of just need like, like Dinks, really, because Hang Hind does good damage. The Phantom Pain, bomb bottom. Becoming a monster to deal with a monster, you don't have to do that. Do you want me to deal with you first? I could definitely run Silverstein. I'm, I always run Silverstein and uh, Narhorn together though. Narhorn? Narhorn? Narhorn. Get Pharos. I feel like you should just start off with Pharos. It's literally just a downside. There's, not, there's nothing good about it. I wonder if you can buy the uh, buy the the curse every time. Stripling, stripling. I have no idea. So you're telling me that like Yeah, that is how it works. It's pretty cool. Mental shock. Yeah, it's a really good ability. It'd be even better if I got the draw skill for his identify. The game doesn't want to give it to me though. Understandable. Why is just straight up gonna kill? I need to level Trisha up, bro. Trisha is not meant to have anything that is above one cost. The only exception is the two cost that gives her back her or whatever. Yeah, alright, you can just keep on getting it. Nice. Reckless charge. I don't like this. Another strike. It's better than the normal hit. I'm also broke, though. Not for now. I just didn't get that? What? Why do I just not remember finding these? Did I use a mapping scroll or something? Like, what happened? Dark Cross. Why get how many some cheese get healing power? We can add, if the wearer attacks an ally skill from hand, target gains a Nora taunt. Well, that also works on Trisha. Oh, wait, I think it's like if you buff them or like heal them. How much is it? Uh, oh, it's here. I was like, I was like looking at it, I was like, did it disappear because I didn't buy it right off the bat? 1200, and skill bucket I guess is the next thing, right? Only one key though, kind of weird. I guess you only need one key because you're getting like so much stuff. Cold hearted for sure. 
also time to open this. No, don't don't discard him. I just bought him. These actually do buff though. Yeah, accurate. They evade ten percent accuracy in four. So you can't have them all like yeah on the same one though. Which kind of sucks. Minus crit chance. No minus crit chance needed. So on all three of them now, and let's get a another ability. That is so nice. You have no idea how nice that felt. Oh, that was so efficient. <laughs> that was so clean. That is that is a good that is a good accelerate mode function. Uh, yeah, level you up. Don't give me anything above one cost. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Two mirror images? It's fine. It's fine. That's how her character works. That's why I keep on telling myself. It's how her character works. It's how her character works. What if I put... Actually... Midas scroll? Lifting scroll? Midas scroll, please? Midas scroll! Haha! <laughs> I can drink from the fountain. Autofocus potential. Potential is good. Great random skills of the selected ally. Autofocus is also good. Potential is. Potential just has more potential though. <laughs> Oh wait, I didn't fight the, these guys. Oh, you don't have to uncover the map also. That's what. Okay. I don't like the eyeball. Double identified. Uh, an attack with swiftness would be nice. It's basically the same thing, isn't it? I'm kind of just curious to see if it like doubles up. It does not double up. Oh wait, she she just didn't have identify on her. What's up with that? Gotta accelerate. That's good. I don't think you can change these like continuous draw. I think they're like special for some reason. Trisha, please. has to be an ally though which sucks so you get another mirror image mirror image the skills cannot be duplicated dag nabbit <laughs> I got a basic heal which is kind of the only thing I wanted it to duplicate but it works it works the tablet. Should I take the safety charm? I mean, like, debuffs suck. Use that on the scroll. This one? Teleport scroll. Not necessary. Uh, this is not going on anyone, but you know, I'm not fighting a debuffer at the moment. Let's see what you got. Your friends will collapse because of your choices. 
double coiled hearted. It doesn't get discarded either. This is just staying in the hand. I'm just gonna just have two cold hearteds. Time for a cold hard cast. Another. This is a surprisingly like good way to use this. Fourteen two. I can afford it, yeah. Now this is going on you. Uh, this is going on you. Just keep on putting cold hearts in my hand. <laughs> That's really good. Especially I I did not realize cold hearts not rare, so you can just exploit it as much as you want. Much you better crush than someone else this time. What do you mean? How much? Two turns left? Potential. Not necessary. Just a bunch of hind skills. What's my focus at? Two out of five. We're doing it. Why do you just get a bunch of healing skills? What the frick, game? This is not what I wanted. <laughs> uh, I guess we have intimidation and seal. What the heck? We're all getting attacked. Uh, do it on you. Nice dodge. Uh, I need to get you off of that door, though. Stone of Swiftness. All right, now she won't die. The damage is at a really weird spot, and I don't like it. So many of them, might as well use one. Who are you attacking? That's not good. Wow, Coldheart saved her life. Oh, I had to use both my death stores. Not cash money. Can I kill in a turn? I can. I just realized these guys could have gotten confused like this entire fight. Really lucked out about that. Uh, just throw an impression on someone. Five damage.
I at least won't kill you with that. She already resisted one. I'd rather not have you die. Mana potion. Okay. <laughs> what focus are you at? Four out of five. So next thing I do will also be zero cost. How much would you do? Thirty. I, this is definitely gonna kill you. I could also just save your life. Not quite. Not quite save your life, but. You know, I guess it's better than nothing, right? He won't die. Just resist another turn, please. Thank you. This fight does not make me feel good. But then again, when does this fight ever make me feel confident in the run? I think every time I have this conflict, it always it always just like reduces my self esteem <laughs> by somewhat. Shadow curtain, yes, that's the one you you want. Three turns to crucify curse, safety charm. What's this one? Vitality scroll. Bad. Twitter horse does eleven damage. It's good. This is good, this is good. Mm, we do actually need healing. Because we do not have a healer. Pfft, you useless good for nothing. I didn't even read the first text, so I'm completely lost for, for everything after that. Hey, we got that though. This can carry. Um, I'm expecting it to be like the Joker's thing, and the Joker's thing carry. Alright. Not really gonna get any different gear. So. You can enchant that. That is very odd. Swift. You don't have anything. Why do you not have anything on you? Evade plus five, that's good. We have like a fifteen percent invade chance with this. Yeah. You get the shield then? Armor crit chance though. I think I would actually rather prefer It's fine. Uh the horses Well then. They both deal three. It's attack twice. You're gonna take a hit. What? Does it only work on himself? I mean on allies? He can't target himself with it. 
I'm never choosing this skill again. I I don't understand how it works. <laughs> Death Store, it's part of life. Uh, this is not good. Oh wait a second, this is my crucifying curse. What the Why is High not doing a second hit? Huh. So it's like a heal. He's dead anyway. I'm just doing this out of curiosity. Very interesting. Alright, so I I understand blood reflex now. It's basically Heinz heal. And I don't like that fixed. <laughs> I should probably level these guys up now. End of line, Blood Reflex again. You, you get like something better. The Mentalist, the Mentalist is good. Trojan Horse. I kind of, I don't know. I never got the draw skill for him, so I like applying identified is kind of just like we're relying on his cruddy passive for it, which sucks. Vitality scroll. Uh, the shop. The shop is important-ish. Not really that important. Honestly, I think I would just buy heals from it or something like that. I. I was not thinking when I did that. Should I just go into the fight now? What if it's the Joker, bro? Can I beat the Joker? What if it's the Joker? That's actually a good thought. Uh, I can't unequip you. I'll probably put this on someone, though. Crit chance, crit chance. So I can resist the Joker. We're going into the Joker fight. I do not care. Oh, it's the tank. Thank you. Wow. Even with a... Uh... Even with the the thing, with cold hearted, still like went negative from that. Blood reflux. <laughs> yeah, just have him kill himself off of blood reflux. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I need to get him not dead. 
I have like one, there we go, this is the one heal skill we can do. Why is that not stiffness? I actually need him. Who's he attacking? He's no longer necessary. And that is all. Oh, he was stunned. Okay. Oh, nice. We got Phoenix. <laughs> I completely forgot about Phoenix, but now not only are we gonna get Phoenix, we're also gonna get some other stuff. So who are you? Ta you're attacking her. The one person that uh, actually, the one person that's not almost dead. Not a bad move. Uh, why? Why does everything? Everything is like a basic attack. What the frick was I doing? Was I like, was I like not in the the proper mind state when I was doing this? Cause everybody still has basic attacks. They should not have basic attacks. I shouldn't have got in here. This is just wrong. It's just under, I, cause like I live literally like every other fight here to do, and I just I was like, oh, I, I gotta do the boss first. Like what? <laughs> what was going through my head? I don't understand. Gain 200% spite. Why'd you tell me the math equation? What? What is this? Alright. Cough guard is CC. Yeah. That one's not that bad. Just take this, bro. I just need these people to not use basic attacks in their fights. This is despicable. They all have cold hardened. We're fine. Imagine we died at these fights instead now. Nice stun. She attacking actually. These two. Oh, he's attacking these two. I don't think I can kill him. I yeah, I cannot kill him. You killed one. Do it again. What? <laughs> this is a really odd arrangement we have here, and I do not like it. But, you know.
Usually when we have a lot of arrangements, we, we get pretty far. It's just rough for like the beginning parts. Ah, death's door, eh? Probably should get off that. Why do you not hit twice? What's wrong with you? I need to check his passive, because there has to be something I'm missing. Apply bandage to yourself. Oh, it got rid of the debuff. Lucky. Lucky person. Yeah, nah, this is just pff, whack so far. Let's see it though. Uh, why have you not forgotten this already? And you, you cannot forget. You uh, can not. So these two are my priorities. Hind is damage and damage is valuable. Merciless ex explosion receive pain damage equal to 50% of your max health and deal twice the amount of your missing health. This cannot kill an enemy. I'm kind of, um, I, how does this, whoever behind defeats enemy is killed, casting it with half damage to another enemy. How come he isn't recasting it though? Oh, his passive is disabled. I shouldn't have put that on high now. Well, I mean, like, I know now. I'm pretty sure they still count. Mars doesn't count. Is this debuff? Oh, I have to take it off and put this on. And can't just switch him around. Alright. So now his passive is disabled. And his passive is, I've called it cruddy, like literally in the same level. So you already know how I feel about that. But that was not. That was not. <laughs> I should probably fight this, right? I press Q by accident. Sorry, I'm not looking at the keyboard. Uh, thank you for that. Oh, it's such it's such a pleasant feeling going to a door and then not walking to the chest all the way. <clears throat> oh wow. He's dead. I think here ignores taunt. Might just sit on it, honestly. Nothing here ignores taunt. My team is just weak to taunt. You only deal 25 with end of the line, and you're supposed to be in attack. Your base set should be great, considering all you do is just steal other people's moves. Like, you think you'd have something up the packet. What is this? Five damage. That's just gonna heal my entire team. Oh, wait a turn. Oh, it's not happening this turn. Good thing I waited actually. Or nah, never mind. Oh, uh, intimidation ignores taunt. Yeah. One, two, three. That would actually work. One, the four, okay. Uh, 
Uh, now we got this. Let's see, uh, I don't know. I have no need for mental shock right now. We're right into the line. Shadow current's not bad. I'll use potential on like you or something. And the one time I actually get attacks from this, I do get attacks from the one I want to heal. Wow, okay, uh, well, I can shadow current, right? Buff up for next fight. Put on you and you. I just enter. I don't even have to. Yeah, alright. <clears throat> oh, I don't get to keep the evade. Alright, let's see this. I was kind of wondering if he'd try and give me another one. Smite. Two smites. Oh, identify an item. Item scroll. Dead end. All enemies of the caster attack this turn. This will crit hit. Interesting. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna take it with me. But I'm not sure who I want it on yet. Oh my gosh, why does it not want to give me the, uh, It does not want to. It does not want to give me the uh, the cards that I want. It doesn't want to give me the draw skill with the uh, with Narhan. Healing power plus two. Dead end. This is going on someone. Well, he doesn't. He had a basic attack, so I guess it's better than a basic. And you don't have a basic. You have a strike, though. The fixed skills kind of need to improve. But I don't know. These guys, these characters, just don't have a good selection of fixed skills. Seems to be. I'm broke, and I already enchanted something with that. I'm pretty sure. This is the jar. <coughs> the jar. Yes. <laughs> it's very weird. I did not mean to call it the jar. This is a good assortment of skills right here. Just a bunch of mirror images, shadow curtain, and apply bandage. That's good. Anyway, what do I want to put in the jar? Devil's Elixir. Good thing I did. I always end up identifying Devil's Elixir, and I'm happy every time I do because I don't want I don't want to actually hit it or actually use the potion because you just can't heal then, right? At least that's my understanding. Like you can you. It's only for one fight. Receive damage to healing during the next ability, but for the entire stage you get plus two attacks. So it's like it's like a trade off, but it's like I don't really want to go through the headache of dealing with it. Nice healing. Looks like you yeah, have pretty tough life, huh? Would you mind not reading other people's memories? What do I need? I need somebody who ignores taunt. Uh, I don't want to run Huzz in this deck. Huzz scares me immensely. Ironheart. I think Ironheart has like some moves that attack all enemies and ignore taunt. There's like the shield of retribution or whatever. Joey, Joey just heals. I mean, healing would be nice, don't get me wrong. Like, my team could definitely use healing. But I don't really care about healing that much, like, oddly enough. Mm, Ironheart's good, but, like, poor. IR is just like what I'm most familiar with. Joey also like functions. I just don't really know where Joey fits in. He could just apply a bunch of debuff, essentially, just more damage. 
Um, we're kind of interested in Huzz. I feel bad for like just not using her. Should I use a camping item? I could use one bread. Not necessary. We got a healer now. Restraint. Consume one man delays an enemy's action count. Pain. Deal six pain damage. Uh, after successful attack, Huzz generates a, a zero cost healing skill. And target. So this is where this is where I like don't want to use the skill. It it has it applies a five damage per turn pain debuff that scales with healing power. And healing wound stack us remove this buff. There might be something you're not understanding about, though. This one doesn't seem that bad. Sorry, I'm drinking stuff. Anyway. Uh, I have gear I should probably put on her. Old by believing power too. This is probably cursed. It's not cursed. Wow. Increases her debuff rate. That's not good. <laughs> I'll still keep it on her though. What have I got this place for? Ironheart. I like how he, he's called Ironheart here, but he's called Ironheart like one word in this character thing. I'm gonna leave before I do any more of that. Alright. Bloody Part 2. For some reason I like never remember like when you do what in this game. The Enchanter, I mean, nah. The bowl, nah. The chest I don't really care about. Nah. Other chest I don't really care about. Uh, the finance potion. I'm not putting that on anyone. Let's do the fight. <clears throat> this is at least hitting someone more than once. I have no idea who's getting hit, so I'll just prioritize the weakest. The balloon dodged. He's just gonna blow up another balloon. Balloons are not really a threat. <clears throat> what? What's this? What? What is this activating off of? I don't. I don't. Even after reading, I don't understand what's happening. Oh wait, is this her passive? Target ran. So you can't even choose who she delays. 
That's really lame. Healing balloon and stun. Eleven fifteen. That's good. I was surpassed with that she generated something. She generated zero cost healing skill off of hitting herself. That would make more sense and not completely annihilate how I think of this game. The entire team got some from that, and that's fine. Except for the one that hit herself. Dead end. I never like this music. This music just feels like a penalty. What is this, uh, Trojan? What are, what are you? Three out of five. One focus and one more focus just to put it on someone. Did that not count? What the frick? <laughs> hit. No, stop trying to hit your teammates for goodness sake like what is this what is this you just you just look what you did <laughs> look what you did huz almost killed her for not even like a heal I had to heal with hein please give me what is wrong with this game? <sighs> it's game refuses to give you the draw skill with um with Narhan. And so nothing just nothing is getting uh what I want it to get. Also you get a healing fountain, get a normal healing skill. Very odd, very odd character. Me no likey. It kind of scares me. I have not fought the boss yet. You fight. All right. I'm still taking damage from this. I I don't like this character. He resisted the stun? Not epic. Her passive sucks too. Alright. Now, 
I do like the thing that there is like an actual use for this character. Like, I'm not seeing it right now. She's kind of like a healer that just puts your team in more jeopardy than it should be. At least Eve, like, Eve, like, hurt the team. But, like, she hurt the team. She didn't hurt, she didn't, she didn't directly attack the team. She was just, like, a weak healer with more, like, a focus on actual, like, attacking buffs. This is an attacking buffer that doesn't heal properly. It confuses me so much. She also has no attacks. Why does she have no attacks? Like, even Presto had an attack. And Presto is like the lord of healing. Presto is probably my favorite hero. Right? Or just reapply that. So watch this, watch this. This is how it's supposed to go. Do I still no? She I did not choose anything that I think buffs. Let's re-roll life here. Subtlety, I guess, works. The entire team is stunned. This is her attack constrict. Carrot and stick. Arm penetration. I'm curious. Her character is curious, but it's so curious. <laughs> it's too curious. I don't need to upgrade Trisha. You, not really. Naron. Naron. Kolar, the mentalist, another Trojan horse would not be the worst. Let's take another Trojan horse and I might just add it honestly, because like I can't I can't use this ability if nobody is like identified anyway. Whip of love. Also heal five more if the target is below half. Then you do a, you deal a seven per turn. Like half of these skills just feel like I'm supposed to avoid them. Overheal by nine when a healing wound stack is removed. This buff is removed. All right, so my my team composition that would be around Huz is it would be like Iron Heart for innocent armor, like Azar, so he gets the attacks from the zero heals or whatever. The Huzz, and I have no idea what else would go after that. Ah, uh, so full health are not affected. Okay. Character is horrible. It's the bot. The pot. Minus 20 of A, that sucks. Uh. Luck increase potion. Increase crit chance. You are critter. That is just what you do. You like have crit chance. Never mind, you're critical. Is this from this? Is from this? Why do you have negative 300 crit chance? <laughs> What's that? What? <laughs> Greatly reduced critical chance. Okay. Actually, I'm only one boss off this, like, evolving. No, I'm two boss off. How am I two bosses off? Uh, then I just beat a boss? Was the tank the first one? No, the tank was the first one. 
I spent a long time just complaining about HUDs and just like not thinking. Oh. This is what characters that don't make sense immediately do to me. Not shut up, Kern. Uh. I should have ordered that the other way. How much does this do? Seven per turn? Uh, I, I can apparently only attack, not apparently, I can only attack the dude with one. Eleven? That won't be enough to kill. I'll just assume who he's attacking. And can you just do this on no one? Yeah, you can just buff yourself. Uh, attack the tank. Interesting. Interesting choice. The Phantom Pain. I really do like the 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 Metal Gear reference. Very enjoyable. you how'd I draw Trojan horse off that <laughs> I mean that wasn't optimal but like uh, I wasn't gonna kill anyway it doesn't really matter now at this point a four fours are good Pull up her, caught off guard, child, slash backstab. Increases skills, crit chance, but I understand. Negative skills are in your hand. Exceeding crit chance is convert into crit damage. This is really weird. She's gonna crit with like negative. I mean, it, it works. I'm just saying it's weird. More debuff resistance, evasion, not bad. One thing I do like about these is that you do have plus 10% uh, debuff, or not debuff, plus 10% evasion. Really nice, you know. Especially when you can't like get gear on your entire team in the beginning. What do I put in here? Where's the stage? I'm. I don't want to use. I don't want to. I want to use it. Combo attack. 100% good chance of free cast. A skill this turn. Well, that should probably only go on you. But I put it on her. I put it on her because she. I'm not going to just overexert Hind for no reason. Especially when most of his attacks are worth two. So, tell me if it hurts all. My whip is ready. Makes no sense. Is that everything? There has to be a secret somewhere, right? I'm just gonna buy a scroll. He doesn't have any cool scrolls. Did I look at this before? Why do I'm, I like, why do I just not remember seeing this? Greater he though. Once 31. 48, that's very strong. Purchase. I don't need skill books anymore. I mean, I do, but I don't, you know what I mean? Give and take. If now it's at death door. No, 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 no. It's just, it's like, it's like you want someone at death's door. Why would I want someone at death's door? You're insane. Now is at death's door or has a healing wound debuff. View the top three. If 
Agnor's Taunt. I actually do need more things Agnor's Taunt. I think it might be time to fight the boss. I don't think there's anything else I can do. I am not in possession of the... Uh... All right. Why is this? Oh, this is not good for my deck. <laughs> I can do a damage race now. That was a really low amount of damage for a crit. Uh, whatever. I can I can shadow crit in that. I don't want to know what he's doing. How does it feel to juggle two bombs? Stacking these two? They just don't attack. The stun kind of sucks. Does it prioritize the lowest health? I feel like it does that. And you're stunned, so I don't know what you're doing. I can't stun him again either. <sighs> Why do I do this to myself? This is such a conundrum. <laughs> this is... <laughs> Burnt. That's not good. I really expected to dodge that. I'm going through a lot of skills right now. Who's taking this damage? I'm not good with pain. Oh, really? Dead end or illusion strike? Uh, it really just shouldn't be my skill that I duplicate. Nice dodge. Uh, 20, it's fine.
11. Wow. Good attack. Has Countdown on it. Forgot about that. A stun. I think we've reached the point of just throwing random potions on our people. Now the potions uh, work like that. Okay. Snooze. Yeah. That's the end of the turn right there. Naraharan. I'll heal you with my whip. No, you won't. You won't heal anyone. Don't go anywhere near my team. You are a cancer. <laughs> to this game, how dare you? How dare you even suggest that you would do anything useful? I can win this. I don't really care about her. That's the thing. It's like she's just an extra person. When are you gonna not be stunned? By the way, I think we're done now. She survived. I mean, ah, uh, man, she's gonna die from burn. Do I can't. I don't even have herbs left, actually. I mean, I really kind of. Are they both dead? No. Uh, that's rough. I guess I'm using a huzz. There's no way I can let this slide. <clears throat> using a character and then losing because I don't know how to heal with the healing character? Not acceptable. Well, that's the end of the video. Uh, I think I did two runs this turn, so. 142 though, 142, not that long. I expect to be longer. I also expect to go farther. I died in like the second place, so. Not not the greatest sequence of runs, but you know, everybody has their, their downs and ups. So yeah, uh, like the video if you like, subscribe if you want to do that, and I'll see you guys later.